they just wait till the, the pain disappears. And normally it takes naturally like six weeks to solve by itself, but six painful weeks. Hello, Rosary Beach. It's Kanoa with rosarytoliving.com, and I'm sitting here with Dr. Manuel Seha. Hi, Kanoa. How are you doing, doctor? Good. I appreciate Good. you coming in and talking to us this morning. Thanks and, for inviting uh, me. You, you yeah. have a business, uh, Kinesis. Kinesis. Yeah, Kinesis, uh -huh. and it's right in downtown Rosarito Beach, uh -huh. uh, next to the Mongolian Grill in the La Jolla uh, Real Commercial Center, correct? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, and how long have you been there? Uh, this is our third year. Your now. third year? Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so how long have you been living in Rosarito Beach? Uh, for four years. Four years? And you yeah. came from, you're, you didn't come from far away though. No, I'm, I'm from Tijuana. Um, and uh, I decided to move down here because uh, we like here. We like here. And especially because we wanted to work with uh, American people. Okay. That are residing here. And, um, and, and that's, that's the idea, to help the community by working with them, with our services and provide them, them uh, health services, you know, medicine. So yeah. tell me about your specialty. You're a doctor in physical medicine. I think we talked about it last uh -huh. time, right? Uh -huh. And you specialize in... Yeah, I did my career in, in medicine in, in the University of Baja, and then I studied sports medicine at the American College of Sports Medicine in the States. Right. And now I'm specialized in corrective training, uh, fitness nutrition, and uh, performance enhancement. Okay. And also, I'm a, a you know a, a chiropractor. Right. Right. And uh, and a personal trainer. And a personal trainer, yeah. which I, my wife has been going to, going to you yeah. for years now. Yeah. yeah. So one of the things that I think that I really like about you, doctor, is that mm -hmm. you treat us different than normal doctors, and, and and I think you're somebody that we can connect to and talk to and really sit down with, and it's not so I don't get the feeling like I come in there and just get shuffled in and out, right? So I can I, I really feel that you care. And I guess it's one of the things I that I'm saying. Think. You really care about what's going on with us. You sit down, you do a, an assessment of not only the body, you want to know what's going on that maybe under get an underlying understanding of what the, what's the problems that are happening with us. Yeah, so I, I do care about people. Of course, that's that's my uh, my purpose in life to help others to to get better, uh, especially uh, on their health issues. So the first visit, you come with me, and of course I'm gonna talk to you. I want to hear your story and assess your body. So the, the idea is to get um, our diagnose. Once we do that, then it's easier, you know, to offer you different options, you know, to treat um, uh, any specific uh, problem. One of the things that I realize is that you've got a pretty open mind. When I normally, when I talk to doctors, they're very rigid with their views. You know, they're pretty set on what their beliefs are and stuff like that. And the thing is that we've been able, to, we've been talking to you for years and you've got a different approach to medicine where I think because of some of your life experiences that you've got an open mind to working on not only the body, but the mind too. Yes, we like to, to work with the, the whole um, individual to integrate the body, the mind, and of course the spirit. Because uh, we believe in conventional medicine, of course we are doctors, but also we believe and apply complementary medicine that includes, you know, uh, the, the physical therapy, um, um, yoga, for example, meditation, depending, depending on, uh, so, but I, I, we are really open. open yeah, to, uh, which is, I know I've been yeah. to a couple of your yoga classes there, which yeah. have been really good. You're actually a yoga instructor too. Yeah, we use yoga for backaches. You know, because uh, we know that yoga provides a very good set of moves, exercises, postures that can really uh, improve and relieve pain from backaches and many other things. But uh, we use those kind of movements to, um, to help uh, or to show people how uh, they can work on, their, on themselves at home. So it really helps, yeah. Some of our clientele that are coming down here are an aging clientele. They're getting into their later years in life. And some of them need a doctor to oversee some of the issues that they're dealing with. And so not only do you help with the physical therapy part and the, and the training and the wellness and stuff like that, but you can also help them with the, you know, medical issues as well. Yeah, by example, uh, we can deal with infections, uh, any kind of aches, um, the hormonal replacement therapy, uh, what any medical condition we can we can work with it. Yeah. Can I ask you about the hormonal replacement therapy? What what is that all about? Yeah, hormonal replacement therapy is as as the word uh, says. It's about replacing your natural function. Normally, you can lose during um, uh, aging or just by having a, an illness. Uh, so the idea is to, um, to see how your body is now responding by do, uh, practicing blood work 
and, and then uh, try to correct and adjust the dosages, the levels to try to, you know, stabilize or rebalance your body, right? Your systems. How would somebody know if they needed hormone replacement therapy? What would be some reason why they would come in and go, hey, doctor, I need a Yeah, it depends on the deficiencies or the gland that is affected. Uh, it, it causes many different um, um, uh, symptoms. But normally we, we can expect that oh, um, after 40 years, you, we, are, we are lack of something because our lifestyle is not the right one mostly all the time and we expect to, to be unbalanced somewhere. So it would be great if we can practice a regular blood work at least um, uh, once a year and then and you, you, can, you, can, you can track how your hormones are um, uh, in your body. So just want so to be clear for the people some of our uh, the people are following us that if they're maybe getting over their 40s you said over 40 years old mm -hmm. and they're maybe experiencing they're not feeling right or they're starting to feel some of the effects of aging that they can come in take a look, have some blood work done uh -huh. and then through that try to see if their body's out of balance anywhere and then and then have you help them get in balance yes exactly that, that's the idea so um, normally we can do it clinically uh, uh, during consultation, I can ask you a few things and, and we can, um, uh, with these um, answers, we can have an idea what's going on in there. But of course, we need the, the, the lab test, the blood work results, and then we can offer you a solution for that. Is it a complicated process, the solutions? So easy. Normally, we recommend people to use bioidentical hormones that could be delivered by uh, using creams, gels, uh, very um, practical things. Uh, we don't like to use too much orals or injectables, uh, but if necessary, of course, we can handle it. We can. We know how to use, how to do it. And then, yeah. like, how long from once the therapy starts do people start uh, seeing a seeing a difference? So the the first goal is uh, rebalance the levels and then establish like um, a maintenance dosages and 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 sometimes it's possible to really correct the problem and solve the problem. So, but um, it depends on on each individual. I'm actually just getting ready. We're gonna yeah. do it together. Okay. So this is gonna be my first time okay. to do it with you. So I'm looking forward to seeing you know how how, uh -huh. it, how it is how you know the results that happen. I, I know I'm gonna be going on vacation a week, and as soon as I get back, we're gonna be working on not only a fitness program, a wellness program, um, a diet program. Actually, I since I've been working with you in the last three weeks, I've already lost 20 pounds. So I'll thank you very much. I, you've gotten Great. me got my mind right and, and 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 stuff like that. And then we get back, we're gonna work on the on you know getting everything in balance mm -hmm. yeah. which is so easy in nowadays in life to be out of balance i think that the world yeah. is constantly pushing us in directions that are trying to get us off of balance yeah especially stress yeah stress is um, um always um hitting our brains and our neuropeptide levels and that interferes with the with the whole body so because the production of hormones are here and it depends on our mental state and on our mood and it depends on many things but stress really unbalances and sometimes just by you know controlling the stress factors uh, we can re-establish you know the, a normal hormonal cycles in the body I, and people a lot of the clients are moving down here to get away i mean they've lived very stressful lifestyles obviously they're coming from the united states mm -hmm. in either busy careers oh, yeah. and family and all the stuff the job mm -hmm. and everything that's going on and they're coming down here mm -hmm. to probably get into balance to find mm -hmm. some peace to get next to the ocean enjoy the lifestyle yeah. right mm -hmm. and so through that they can also you know come and meet with you and get their body in balance too yeah and the idea uh, is to live um, longer and healthier and of course enjoy this uh, uh, area because uh, we know uh, uh, the people likes it. I like it, that's why I, I, I'm here. And, uh, and of course I, I can help people, I can help you if, uh, to come and, uh, and, uh, and try to work with you close together and right. see what can I do for you, okay? Well, you know, doctor, I want to ask you about some specific things right now. And, and I know okay. you specialize because you've been working with my wife and I, we brought that up last time, um, but you deal with back issues, people that have been, mm -hmm. a lot of people are having back issues nowadays, right? Yeah, so I think like 70% uh, of my patients ha have um, back issues, back aches normally. Right, Yeah. back pain, so they're dealing with back chronic pain. back pain. Yeah. Right. Chronic and, and acute pain. Okay. Um, normally, by example, the sciatica. Okay. Yeah, sciatica is a very common problem that it's known that is a pain that goes down the leg from the low back. That's okay. normally the definition. And because there's that, that nerve that comes up, right? It's a sciatic nerve. Is that yeah. the same? Is that the yeah. cause? That nerve um, comes out from the lumbar spine 
and it goes of the rear part of the leg and down till the toes. So when you got acute injured, um, and that spot normally it's uh, uh, disc hernia. 90% of, of uh, sciatic problems are uh, disc hernias, a uh, lumbar spine normally. So, uh, but sometimes the sciatica, as, as, as we know it, is not a, um, a diagnose. Sciatica is a symptom. So it's like the consequence of something else. So, and, and as I said, 90% is caused hernias. by hernias. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And how do you diagnose that? What do you, what do you have to do to fight, figure out what the problem is? Yeah. Normally people, when they feel this kind of symptom, this kind of pain, they do not go to the doctor. They just wait till the, the pain disappears. And normally it takes naturally like six weeks to solve by itself but six painful weeks. Uh, but if, if you come uh, or if you go to a doctor, it, it will be very important to differentiate what, what's the cause, what, what, what kind of diagnose you, you have in, in, in front of you. Because I said normally 90% are caused by these hernias. But I've seen in my, my daily practice that mostly 50% of my patients with uh, sciatic uh, nerve pain uh, are not... Um, caused by disc hernias. Okay. So this is very so important. So what would cause it? That's why we have to do a, a diagnose because the treatment varies in completely or differs completely from, from uh, classic disc herniated sciatic nerve uh, pain. So um, the most frequent things, the most common is the uh, sacroiliac joint uh, pain. The diagnose there is called sa sacroiliac joint subluxation. So it causes sciatic pain, but is not the most common cause. So if we differentiate this, then we'll be able to to offer or to do different different stuff, you know, to to fix it. So yeah. what what would be the treatment? Is it medication or is, is it adjusting? I mean, what would somebody expect to do if they're dealing with this pain? How what would be the first thing is to find that the diagnose. Okay, it's like when you take the car, you know, to the mechanic, right? Uh, or you can take it to. AutoZone and they can they put the computer there. It's the same. We need to find the diagnose and then after the treatment, it's it's very easy. Uh, normally, we use medication. Actually, people can use medication that can find the over the counter at the pharmacy, and uh, and deal with it uh, if they don't have the opportunity to visit a doctor, and uh, and 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 they can you know control the symptoms and not need to wait six weeks to, till the pain goes away for for itself. Right. Will it always just go away by itself, or is it sometimes? It yeah, it will go breath? away by itself. Normally, just fifteen percent or twenty percent of those pains requires a surgical solution. Yeah. Really? So, yeah. is this like something that's debilitating? I mean, is can people? Is it the level of pain that they're going to be feeling? Is it you know, like something they can walk around with, or is this one of the pain that they're going to be in bed and not moving? It depends the, the degree of the problem, uh, but it can be debilitating on, on the worst cases. But of course, if you're in pain, you don't want to move, and then you stop moving. So uh, your life, uh, daily life activities um, can be very affected. Uh, uh, and you might experience another kind of neurological symptoms like numbness, tingling, and, um, and you know, just uh, discomfort. Uh, but we can treat all this with, uh, especially we, we need to use medication at the beginning, and, and the manipulation of the spine have shown to, you know, to offer the best results. So it's like an adjustment. So you give them yeah. the medication along with an adjustment yeah. will help at the beginning to make sure it heals yeah. faster. Especially on the next 15 days after the first approach, then we can exercise with the people because that's, that's the only solution for that, um, including, you know, these herniated problems, discs, or, or it can be the sacroiliac joint problem. We need to do medication, um, chiropractic adjustments and then exercise. And I know people that have back pains, it's really, it, it, it disrupts their lives. I mean, it's mm -hmm. like nothing, when you don't feel good and you've got that pain, I mean, nothing feels good. You can't enjoy anything. Mm -hmm. So it completely just takes away the enjoyment of life when you've got that constant oh, yeah. pain going on. In, 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 in yeah, your... it's very disabling. And, uh, and when you come with me, I'll try to put you back on on track, yeah. yeah. And of course, uh, uh, my first goal is to eliminate the pain as quick as possible. So normally it takes two, one, two days and you're out of pain. And then you can get back to your life. So that, that's the idea, yeah. What would be some practical tips for people to fix these? Go to the doctor. That's the first thing. 
uh, and, uh, and try to uh, find out what's wrong there. And practical things that you can do at home, it's by example, is wear a belt. Wear a belt to help your body to support the, the area or stabilize the joints. And that will really uh, help you deal with the pain and, and, and help you, you know, drop the pain more than 50% just by wearing a belt. So as soon as they start feeling the pain, they put it, yeah. they get a belt on. Yeah. Will that belt help prevent it too? If they're, if they're having this happen yeah. more, more often? Yeah, we can use it. If you had an episode in the past, of course it will help, especially if you're going to uh, lift heavy or are you going to be very active? Well, we got a lot of active people down here. Uh -huh. They come down here to get, you know, they're surfing uh -huh. and they're uh -huh. bike riding yeah. And, yeah. and they're having all the fun by the beach and they're uh -huh. going, they're running and jogging and climbing the hills and everything. So. Yeah, so you can use it to prevent problems, but uh, it's better after having a, an episode to exercise and then your body naturally will uh, create uh, a belt you know, and and no need to you to wear it all the time, but um, but but it's it's good to use uh, to use it to treat the acute episode or to prevent if you had something in the past. Yeah. One, one of the things I think that you were talking to my wife about was mm -hmm. that in order to prevent some of this, is you got to build a foundation, which in your body right. is through through movement and exercise, right? Yeah, I uh, think you've got yeah. a strong belief in that exercise is medicine. Exactly. So we prescribe exercise because we believe in this. Exercise is a medicine that not just cure, cures um, uh, backaches, it cures many other um, health problems. So uh, we use it to treat any condition. Okay. Well, I think, you know, in the today's world, we're all very sedentary. So especially mm -hmm. like somebody like me, I'm working on a computer mm -hmm. eight, 10 hours a day. Mm -hmm. And, you know, by the time I get done, I don't feel like exercising. And, and I realize that that through that it's created a lifestyle of being unhealthy, right? Because we go from the, you know, the, the house to the car, to the office, back to the couch. I mean, there's just no, there's not a lot of opportunity for movement, yeah. especially for people like, you know, like me, there maybe are working a lot. Yeah. yeah now, now sedentarism is considered uh, worse uh, factor than smoking tobacco. Wow. Yeah, uh, uh, and, and causes many, many, many problems. So just by moving, we're reducing our, our health risks very, very, very much. Well, I'm really looking forward to coming working, uh, you know, to working with you, to actually to, to put some movement into my life. Mm -hmm. to as soon as, you know, next, hopefully next week when we get back, we're gonna be actually working together and on a constant yeah. basis. And if I can't force myself to do it by myself, it's great to have the encouragement of somebody oh, yeah. like you to, you know, to put me in and get me in the right direction and yeah. uh, um, mm -hmm. and, and put that movement into my life. So yeah, and as, as, uh, as we age, it's it's harder uh, uh, to move. So if you if you have somebody there that knows what it's um, doing and and encourages encourages you to to move, then you you'll get um, uh, results and and you'll feel good. That's that's the idea. Yeah. One of the things that I really appreciate about you, doctor, is that you enjoy life. All right, yeah, I, you've got a beautiful yeah, wife, yeah. you got beautiful kids, kids, and you're always looking to find some enjoyment. So oh, yeah. I respect that. We've been known each other for years now, and you've been able to introduce me to parts of Rosarito that I haven't I haven't been aware of. Obviously, our website is rosaritoliving.com. Mm -hmm. We're talking to people that are wanting to come down here and live here and enjoy enjoy the city. And not all the time is everything so easy to find. Mm -hmm. And there's no one place that really guides you and shows you what's going on with mm -hmm. the city. And as I find and meet different people like yourself, I get exposed to some really secrets that I feel like that are just been really exciting to, you know, but if I wouldn't know people like you, maybe people that come down here that don't have, you know, the severe friends that like I have, you know, it takes them some time to get to know people. They might not find some of these places right away. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to know if we could talk about some of the things that you've uh, introduced me to down here. And, mm -hmm. and just so that maybe we'll put some put photos up of our of our trips and what we did and, and have yes. fun. Yes, and, and one of them that was is El Salto. El Salto. Yeah, yes. you took us to El Salto. I'd actually been there one time without you. I went with actually one of our agents, uh, James Langley. Mm -hmm. He took us up there with his wife. So I had gone there before, but I didn't when I went with him, it wasn't like when I went with you because you took me to the top of the mountain, right? Mm -hmm. That was like, it was a complete experience. Mm -hmm. But how did you find El Salto? Um, El Salto, I went to El Salto in 2004. Okay. So it's quite a long, long time. And uh, it wasn't like like it, it is uh, at this moment. So um, I found it because I like to hike. Okay. And there's some good spots here in Baja to hike that I, of course I will invite people to to explore the area. 
because it's very nice hiking um, and um, and that spot specifically it's very powerful because many 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 people um, uh, local people knows it knows it and and they use it for spiritual exploration really yeah yeah uh, many uh, groups. I can see why it's I mean it's very yeah. enchanting mm -hmm. when you go there yeah, yeah. So it's about 20, yeah. 30 minutes from Rosary Beach, yeah, right? Said, yeah. And what do people do there? I mean, what's it? What's it? What's the purpose of El Salto? Yeah, it, it's a, a park. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a park, but people use it freely to to ex experience uh, with the groups. They gather there to experience spiritual things. It can be really? Catholics, you know. Uh, Buddhists or or whatever, but really, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I noticed that people are camping over there too, right? Camping, yeah, yeah they camping. camping and hiking. And mm -hmm. is it just for the day, or is it people go there and stay overnight? They can stay overnight. You can you can spend just a, an afternoon there. You can have your your camp, do your barbecue, whatever right. you want. Take you can take the kids. So it's 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 open, and, and I do really like it. And it's uh, got the it's got a river coming through there, which we'll put some photos up of the when river it, coming when through. When it rains, <laughs> right? When it the, rains, yeah, right? Yeah, there, there's a river there. And then there's, and then there's water also water there. Yeah, there's oh. always yeah there was water both times I yeah, went. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there's the hiking. You can w hike up there. The there are many many different um, uh, trails. Right. That, okay. That, that depending on your on your skill well, what level. Skill, what level did we go on? <laughs> For dummies. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah no, beginners, beginners. That was the yeah. beginner trail? Beginner, yeah. Oh my yeah. God, that yeah. was like amazing though. Yeah. I, when we got to the top up there, yeah. it was like looking over down, it was like we felt like I was on the top oh, of the yeah. world. Oh yeah, exactly. It was such a, yeah, it was a very magical, very cool experience. I thank you for taking us yeah, there. Yeah, you can experience nature. Yes. Yeah, here. Yeah. I actually went, uh, my sister-in-law, Gloria, who works with us, she yeah. just went there and she went there with a group of people too. Mm -hmm. And every time somebody goes there, they come back and they're just like, wow, what an amazing wow. place. Exactly. Yeah, who, would, yeah. who would even know to find this place unless yeah, you know exactly. somebody to tell you to go there exactly and there's many more that's not considered ensenada right that's actually tijuana or is no, it's ensenada okay. after la mission all right it's ensenada yeah. okay all yeah, right yeah. you find these places that i feel like i need a four-wheel drive sometimes to get oh, yeah. through them right yeah, so I, i'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to put like <laughs> yeah, in another one, car yeah. uh -huh. because you know where all the secret spots are but they're not always easy to get to yeah yeah you know mm -hmm. one of the places that i think that you took us to and i was like with my wife we're driving going honey where are we going where is this place and it's called uh, la cocina Cocina de Doña Estela. Okay, once again, who would ever know to find oh, this yeah. place? How, I mean, I, I've been talking mm -hmm. to a lot of the people that live here in mm -hmm. Rosarito Beach and they didn't even know about it. Mm -hmm. So we got, I mean, people that have lived here their mm -hmm. whole lives that they maybe have heard of it, but they've never been there. And then all of a sudden we're going off the main road. It's kind of like going to Guadalupe Valley, right? Mm -hmm. You're going off the main road and then you're going up these mountains and hills. The and road, yeah. I mean, I'm seeing all these really nice cars that mm -hmm. are driving up these river roads and I'm going, Oh my God, I can't, like, what is going on over ah, here? Yeah. These BMWs and Mercedes and Cadillacs are, are going off road and I'm going, and I'm just not understanding. And then all of a sudden you get to this place and there's a line of cars. Yeah. And then we walk in and one there's just wait. like a little yeah. town. Yeah. And there was, a, yeah, and it was like a mm -hmm. one hour, one to two hour wait uh -huh. to get into this restaurant. Uh -huh. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, nobody's, I've been here for 15 years. I've never heard about this place. How did you find this place? One of my patients actually recommended me uh, uh, that place like six years ago. Okay. So it was a very small kitchen. Not, not as, as it is now. And, um, and we went once and of course we love the food, the food, because the lamb is incredible and they, they are very generous with the, with the portions. It's a big portion. <laughs> yeah. What is their specialty? The lamb, the borrego. Okay. Borrego tatemado. Is That's that the what name. they call it? Yeah, yeah. And all the Mexican food is very, very, very delicious. Okay. Yeah. But if you go there to make sure you get the order you of the get lamb, Get the right? borrego tatemado. Okay. Yeah. And then they, like, it was like homemade tortillas and everything. It was just a Yeah, really, the flour tortillas. Are, yeah. Just was made, all amazing. the food there was yeah. just amazing. It was another, mm -hmm. I think I like to say like another gem, a, a secret mm -hmm. spot, the Rosarito, uh -huh. which how if it's I'm, I'm I'm I was really just wondering how do all these people know about it? Were those all locals that were there that were going up it, there? It, it became very famous in Mexican community when a group of uh, filmmakers did a TV novel okay. there, and then it be became famous from uh, of local people. And then you know, of course, we have American friends, and we um, began um, inviting people there. And now we can get in. <laughs> I, I, now it's a way. Imagine yeah. it with with so little advertising, they've got so many people there. No advertising if, at if all. If they had yeah. a road <laughs> that actually you could get there easily, they, they, they're going to build it. Yeah. There would be like there'd be no, there'd be a line, a line yeah. all the way to back to the United States, which yeah, is exactly. amazing. No, I do really recommend you. To yeah, if yeah. you haven't if you haven't been there, you got to put that on your list of places exactly. to go check. Exactly.
yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that now? Is that that's Ensenada also, right? Ensenada. Okay, that's going towards Guadalupe Valley. Yeah, the one country it's Ensenada. Okay, yeah. and, all right. And you have to go, you know, using the 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 shortcut you know, right. through the free road. Okay, and it's easy we'll put to it, get there. We'll put it on a, a, yeah. a link for Google Maps. Mm-hmm. We'll put it on there for yeah, people yeah. To you, find can, it. you can find, find yeah. easily find it. Yeah. yeah so yeah. I, I think once again, what another great experience that you've mm-hmm. taken. And the only thing is, that I know is that you are a big fan of Guadalupe Valley. Yes, is that true? Yes, I normally go there like at least four times a month. Okay, I think more if you were at asking. least at least four okay. times. Okay, okay, right. Okay. At least four times a month. <laughs> Right. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We love the wine country. You know the wines. Okay. I, I got in love of the wine country since 2002. So uh, um, uh, because you know I, I tasted the wines and and I, I I went to Napa Valley and I know they have one of the best wines in the world, but but we have very uh, good wines here and uh, and you know the, the whole experience. And it's not just about wine though anymore, right? I mean I know that people are going up there for different things besides wine. Yeah, there's more, more, more stuff there. They're I like, mean, because every time you've brought mm-hmm. me up there, I know we've gone to the different wineries, but you've also taken me to some incredible restaurants. Oh yes, I heard, I heard, uh, and I've been in uh, on two restaurants that are considered uh, the top ten in America. Oh, in the in a really? yeah, in America. Wow, so that that good they are. Yeah, and you know, if you go there, you take the the full experience that as as they call their uh, menus. Then, then you will be an enchanted of, of, of the wine country. Yeah. So, so if, if somebody was new and maybe didn't hasn't ever been there, where would they start? Finca Alto Sano. Okay. Or Corazón de Tierra. Okay. Of course, El Cielo. Okay. And Fuego. which is one of the most famous, right? Yeah, one of the yeah. most famous. Uh, another one is uh, Fuego. And we went uh, a couple nights ago to this new beautiful place called Fauna at Bruma Winery. Okay. So it, it's incredible. So yeah. do you recommend people take a wine tour or do they go up there and have a guide or how, how would you tell, tell people? To uh, go the tours it? are good the first time, the second time, but then it's better to explore. You know, the best experience is by doing it yourself. And this is a very, uh, I think, a, a family experience for you. You go up with uh-huh. your family most of the time, right? Yeah. Yeah, and it's very. I like to take my kids. You know, my daughter is now uh, like a sommelier. Oh my, they <laughs> yeah. know more about the wine country than me. They're actually yeah. telling me stuff. Yeah, They're yeah. becoming experts of uh, Guadalupe yeah. Valley. And it's very safe. Right. You know, the the people uh, do really care about the visitors. And um, and there's no not, not many you know police they, right. they're not bothering you there's no cartel things no narcos not, nothing right. like that so it's pretty safe and and, and it's great yeah, yeah it seems like I mean this the the whole experience is just very country feeling but mm-hmm. very um, high end so it's a very and lucky, Mexican style yeah. in Mexican style mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. and um, I heard now they're having concerts up there too so they're, they're and now the season events. begins now right there's many many good artists that are, are coming to, to the wine country if you want to spend a night by example uh, dancing because there's no many places now for us people like us to go and to dance right but but they're they're good groups mexican groups coming to to the wine country so you can have a, a really nice nice um evening there so and they've got hotels up there now too right you can yeah and it's growing more and more and more so yeah. you can go up there to for the day for a day trip or if they people want to go up there for the weekend yeah yeah any hotels you recommend staying at uh, I recommend the Cuatro Cuatros. Cuatro Cuatros, I've been there. It's a beautiful, beautiful oh, it's location. Beautiful location. Yeah. The hotel is very nice. Uh, I recommend uh, the, this new one, the El Cielo Hotel. Uh, okay. Um, I heard that's very high end, right? That's yeah, really high fancy, end. right? Yeah, yeah, fancy and a little bit expensive. <laughs> but but uh, if you go with friends, you can you know share, right. share the expenses. But um, there's many, many now, and there are more and more new, new. Um, do you have a favorite restaurant up there that you go to? I like the Finca Alto Sano. Okay. Yes, it's one of my, my favorite. But we've been still, still, you know. Finding new places. Over finding new time. places. Right. And I have 15 years going to the wine country, to the Valle, the Guadalupe, and, and we still not, not know everything. Well, yeah. I think that, you know, if people come and get your services out as a doctor mm-hmm. and you want to know about the wine country, I absolutely say have a conversation with you. And to, I'm, to I'm always more. recommending the wine country to my patients, always. And they ask me, oh, or they say, uh, oh, we went this. Have you tried this one? And then, oh, go to this one. So because we, we love it and, and, and we always find people there. Well, doctor, I really want to thank you for coming in and talking to us. Yeah, sure. And, and uh, once again, I, I want to keep bringing you in because you're my favorite Rosary Beach doctor. Oh, and I you. think that as more people get to thank know you. you, they're going to really appreciate what you can do and thank the services you, you offer mm-hmm. and, and everything you do for our city. And I'm, 
I'm always a very appreciative for anybody that runs a business in Rosarito Beach, you know, and, they, and helping to improve the services mm -hmm. and the lifestyle for all of us here. And uh, so thank you very much. And until next time, um, we, we, I look forward to what we talk about next. Thanks for inviting me. Of course, we can come anytime. No and, problem. Yes. Okay. We can, and we can we're going to put your contact information. We'll put it into yeah. the, into the, um, into the, into the description with the mm -hmm. links and directions. Uh -huh. And then if they need to make an appointment or a, um, uh, to, for a consultation, okay. they can just call you, right? Okay. I'm here. Okay. I'll be there. Okay. All right. Excellent. Thank okay. you, doctor. Thanks, Kenoa. Okay. okay. Have a good Bye -bye. day. Have a good day. All right. Thank you. Thank you for watching our video. If you're planning on buying, selling, or renting in the Rosarito Beach area, please give us a call. Thank you.